It's time to enter the drone zone with me, James Drone, aka Pure Ambient Drone. So hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, and get ready to synth on. Hey there, synth drones. Welcome back to another episode, episode 13. That's where we are on midnight synthesizer talk. What is this? This is where I talk on the microphone in our minds, in our ears. Open up and stimulate our imaginations. That's what Midnight Synthesizer Talk is all about. Yes. And I love being here with all of you. James Drone, that's me. The voice of synthesizers. So I want to talk tonight about the Prophet X by Sequential. Now, I haven't talked a whole lot about this one on my channel. And it's kind of like my secret weapon. Because 8DO make some incredible sound packs for the Prophet X. Uh, sound packs like the Prophet 5, the ARP 2600, the Model D. Those are some incredible synthesizers. And to have a company like 8DO to come in and make sample packs for this incredible synthesizer, wow, it just opens up a synthesizer world of bliss. And uh, one thing that's really cool is like if you put a Model D into the Prophet X, suddenly you have eight note polyphonic power behind it. It's just incredible. The ARP 2600 becomes polyphonic. And any synthesizer that used to be monophonic suddenly becomes polyphonic if that's what you want with the Prophet X. And uh, it's not just a sampler. It also has digital oscillators and an analog filter. And it is one of the best analog filters I have ever heard. It really sounds smooth and creamy. So I want to go through some of the sounds on here tonight and just let our ears be the judge of what you guys think. And I'll tell you what I'm playing, okay? So uh, the first set of sounds that I'm going to go through are the Prophet 5. And I'm not going to go through every single one of the sounds. I'm just going to play some of my favorites and let you guys hear something from the Prophet X playing the sampled Prophet 5. was just so lovely and um honestly i gotta tell you it's no longer a prophet five it's a prophet eight all over again <laughs> because you get eight notes of polyphonic bliss when you put samples into this machine let's play some more So yeah, that is the Prophet 5 on the Prophet X. Sounds just 
beautiful. But it also can do the ARP 2600. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like. So that was a taste of the ARP 2600, but there is all kinds of goodies that come inside of this machine when it arrives. Here's one called PXTs. Suspension Cloud. buttery, smooth like cream. I love it. So yeah, I am so impressed with the Prophet X. And I tell you what, if you want to make good music, you have to have good tools. You have to have good quality in your tracks to attract people, to keep people, to make your mark, to have your sound. That doesn't mean that you have to have every single synthesizer in the world, like I seem to have. <laughs> but the Prophet X is a lot of fun, and you can spend hours just sculpting one sound. The possibilities are really endless with this machine. And a lot of people always ask me to compare it to the Waldorf Quantum. There is no comparison. It is a totally different machine altogether. It has its own personality. It has its own feel, its own sound. And it doesn't mean that that's better. It's just different. And that's why I also have the Waldorf Quantum, which to me is totally different. And neither one could I pick if I, if you're like, oh, pick one of the, you know, one or the other. I, I can't do that. People are always asking me if you had to pick one, which one it would be. Well, it's kind of silly to ask somebody who's got a room full, full of synthesizers if you had to pick one, because I don't have to pick one. I picked many of them and I can't make up my mind. So I like all of these synthesizers and I really like the Prophet X. So it is so hard for me to even think about ever parting with it. And I'm not at this point even thinking that. It's just so much fun. And I can't wait to see what else 8DO comes out with. I heard rumors that there's going to be a Jupiter 6, maybe a Jupiter 8. Uh, that would be really cool. I would really enjoy some 8DO sample packs from the old Roland era. And, and you know, uh, we were talking about cloning uh, Behringer. We talked about that last night. This is kind of cloning the sound, right? I mean, you're sampling the sound and you're kind of like, I don't know, if uh, Behringer is the big cloner of the world, then the Prophet X is the mini-me to the Behringer cloning uh, efforts. 
because I think that they come super close to these synthesizers when they put these packs in there. Now, sure, if you really get a ARP 2600, your sound possibilities are just endless when you have the real synthesizer, or for that matter, any one of these synthesizers that you get the sample packs from. But if you want to save tens of thousands of dollars and all you need are a few of the sounds from these iconic synthesizers, this is the way to go because this will become just about any synthesizer you sample into it and will give you a taste or a nuance of that synthesizer. It really takes on that synthesizer's personality. As you've seen with what I just did, what I just played for you, a variety of sounds all coming from the same synthesizer, it turns in or mimics these synthesizers in my book, flawlessly for what it does, for what it does, okay? Like I say all the time, there is no perfect synthesizer. So that's the Prophet X. I wanted to give you a little bit of taste of it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. Leave a comment and above all, keep calm and synth on.